Is one of the most prominent stars in our night sky about to explode? I really hope so. Betelgeuse is one of the stars and one of the most recognizable constellations in the night sky, Orion. It's the red star that sits at the shoulder of the constellation above the three stars that make up Orion's belt. It's the 10th brightest star in our night sky, and it's located about 548 light years away. As an aside, there's a couple of ways to pronounce Betelgeuse, 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 and Betelgeuse are the most common. But a lot of people will moan that there's a proper pronunciation, but after the movie Betelgeuse came out, everyone started pronouncing it Betelgeuse and that's what stuck. In reality, this didn't even become the official name of the star until 2016, and people pronounce it in different ways, and the bottom line is you can pronounce it however you want to regardless of what people say. But why do we think that Betelgeuse might explode? Back in 2019, the star began to dim as seen from Earth, Earth, and scientists scrambled to figure out what exactly was going on. Why wasn't the star as bright as it used to be? It was noticeable even with the unaided eye because the star is usually so bright within our night sky. It turned out that the star, which is currently a red supergiant at the end of its life, had ejected a bunch of material that blocked its light. This star is so big that it's about 764 times as big as our sun. The amount of material it coughed up, it was several times the weight of Earth's moon. This may seem like a lot, but remember just how much bigger Betelgeuse is than our sun. In context, it's not actually very much mass loss for the star. If you're familiar with our sun, you know that our star goes through periods of solar activity. Watch the linked video to get more information on the sun's solar cycles. This was basically what scientists called a surface mass ejection, or SME. As this material cooled, it partially blocked our view of the star. This was the first time scientists had seen something like this, and they've been using Betelgeuse to understand more about how stars die. Since the SME occurred, Betelgeuse has pretty much settled down. That is, until now. Over the past few weeks, Betelgeuse has become noticeably brighter, up to 50% brighter than normal. Astronomers and space enthusiasts have wondered, does this mean that the red supergiant is about to go supernova and give us the most amazing celestial fireworks display? Well, maybe. Betelgeuse is about to go supernova, but about is a relative term when it comes to the cosmos. It'll explode soon, but soon means sometimes in the next 100,000 years. While we're at the end of the star's life, it still probably has a while to go before it explodes. According to scientists who have examined Betelgeuse's color, size, and brightness, Betelgeuse is likely in the early stages of fusing helium to carbon at its core. Remember, main sequence stars fuse hydrogen into helium at their cores. That's what's happening to our sun. After they burn through all the hydrogen at their core, they start fusing helium. But before Betelgeuse explodes, it still has to fuse carbon into oxygen, then silicon, and then finally iron. Once that happens, the star will collapse and go supernova. Astronomers have run simulations on what exactly we should expect when the giant star finally does kick the bucket, and we've got a pretty good idea of what to expect. First, Betelgeuse will release neutrinos, which are invisible but would be identified by detectors around the globe. Then the star would start to get brighter, but not this measly 50% brighter that we're seeing now. We're talking possibly half as bright as the full moon in our sky over the course of a week or so. It, of course, wouldn't be the size of the moon, but the amount of light it would give on that little pinprick in our sky would mean it would likely be visible even during the day when the sun is high in our sky. But that's not likely what's happening now. The current brightening is probably just related to the expulsion of material back in 2019. We've known for a long time that Betelgeuse brightened and dimmed in our sky. The star was actually on a pretty regular schedule of brightening and dimming. For about 200 years, that cycle ran 400 days long. That is, until 2019. The star hasn't returned to that regular schedule of brightness and dimming, and is probably struggling. The ejection likely left behind a giant cool spot on the sun's surface, and the plasma on the star's surface is just sloshing around trying to get back into a place of balance. That giant cool spot also probably contributed to the star's dimming from our perspective. The bottom line, Betelgeuse will explode, but it's probably not going to happen yet, or even in our lifetimes. But you never know. Sometimes the cosmos can surprise us.